Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming for you guys a dorm room slash um, school supply haul. Uh, just a disclaimer, I am not bragging. I am making this video because one, it was requested on Twitter. Two, I um, love these videos on YouTube and I will watch them till I'm even out of college. I am starting my first year of college and I know it is a very stressful time and I want to share what I have learned with you guys and I want to show you what I think I might need and then I'm probably going to make another video on like tips for like starting a like um getting stuff ready for college type thing and I'm going to start like a mini series like a back to school series so we will see so let's get started so let me start with binders because they're right here um I got all my school supplies at Staples um and I'm kind of a nerd and I wrote down a list and then I went online to see which one was the cheapest price printed them all out so I know which ones I'm getting and then glued them to my notebook am I weird is that weird Okay, anyways, um, I firstly got this one. It's green. Just a plain green, one and a half inch binder with, um, I like that it has, uh, like a, a pocket down here and a pocket up here. And it's just perfect. And I already wrote all my name on the inside and everything because I, I'm weird. And then I got this one because I thought it was really cool. It was like really majestic and which is really cool. And then, um, it also has a flap as well on the inside. I can't really see it. There we go. See? And yeah. So that's that. Again, it's just a one and a half inch binder. I didn't know if I was going to need more than one, so I bought two. Um, and if I need more than one, or if I just need one, then I have a backup for later in the year when things just start breaking we've all been there and then um I put all my school supplies in a storage bin because I'm taking the storage bin with me to college anyways to store like sheets and stuff like that in towels anyways um I bought this um and it's just a daily planner and I bought it because mainly it has like, it has like the year calendar, I mean the month calendar, and then it, on the pages, it just has like the daily thing, and this is the best part. It has elephants on it, oh my gosh, I love elephants, um, anyone who knows me knows I love elephants so much, but when I bought this, I didn't realize it just had 2015 in it and I start September of 2014 and I kind of need that I was just gonna use because they have a note section back here oh and it has a folder too see just a flap but anyways they have like a note such section back here that has quite a few pages but I didn't really want to write all my homework assignments in that note section so, um, the one thing that I did get at Target, which was kind of expensive, and I'm not really happy that it was this expensive, but I couldn't find another one at Staples, so I just bought this yellowish green one, and it just has, it has 2014 and 2015 in it, um, and it just ha looks like this, has like the day things, and then it has, sorry, I have a paper clip on here. It just has like the month, the calendar type thing. So yeah, that's that. And that's the only thing I got from Target. This was like, I don't even know, probably like, I think this was $10. Whereas this one was only 6 And I feel like this one's better quality and it's prettier. I don't know, if that's just me. Each binder costed $5.00. If you're wondering. Clock, sorry about that. Moving on to composition notebooks. So I emailed my advisor at 
my college and he told me that I'm going to be needing a lot of paper, a lot of binders because we are constantly doing projects and constantly taking notes and that my professors want me to have like a notebook for each of their classes and I'm taking five. So I don't know if which notebook that they're going to want me to use, so I just got five composition, another one in my room, but it's just a normal black and white composition notebook, it's nothing special. Um, and then I have five spiral notebooks that I bought. So the first one that I got was this one because I had a folder last year that had the same kitty on it, and it's just so cute. And it's just, you know, lined paper, nothing special on the inside, but it's so cute. And then I got this one because it kind of reminded me of my mom. My mom likes flower designs like this. And I just thought it was really pretty. Um, these were $2.99 each, I believe. Or a dollar something each. Because the decorative ones are slightly more than the regular old boring composition notebooks that are like nine, 82 cents or something like that. So I got this one too and I thought this was so pretty. It reminded me, if you ever watch my Disneyland video, um, you'll see that I had the World of Color show on there. I believe that's on my channel, um, still. But that reminded me so much of, this notebook reminded me so much of that, and it just it was a really happy time in my life, and I wanted to get it because it reminded me of that. So yeah, that's why I got that. And then, this one's kind of my favorite one, but it has, like, mustaches and glasses on it, and I wear glasses and I love mustaches and they just have they have colorful ones too oh it's so cute and the paper's kind of weird but I still like it it's like I don't know how to describe it it's just like flatter I guess I don't know it's just it's really cool and then it, I got um we'll move on to paper I got a lot of paper because I kind of have an obsession with paper so, um, I take notes in my binder, and, you know, sometimes I just get really boring, you know, like staring at a white piece of paper all the time, just like, I mean, yeah, there's highlighters and colored pens, which I did buy, I'll show you those in a minute, um, but I found these pieces of paper that the regular 8x10 wide ruled, college ruled paper, um, and it was only like two bucks. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get these because I like them. So I got these pastel ones um, and it just has like four different colors if you can see. Yeah, so they have like yellow, green, blue, pink, or like an orangey color. And then I got neon ones which also have four colors, yellow, green, blue, pink. And I just thought that I could alternate between the two for, like, if it's different notes, and then it, like, I know when the page ends. And, yeah, so, and then I personally like the reinforced binder paper. I don't care how much it costs, I will get the reinforced kind because, oh my gosh, I can't stand it when my papers rip out of my binder. I'm all about reinforce. So I got three of those. Just reinforced binder paper as you can see they're all there two of them are different than one of them because they ran out of they ran out of this kind so I had to get one of these which is not a big deal they're slightly bigger than the other ones but whatever um still reinforced still two bucks or no it was like five but whatever and then I bought a hole puncher because I needed one that had a lid on it because my other one didn't have a lid and it was kind of making me annoyed because I had like holes everywhere. And then I bought white out. Um, everyone knows I hate the color pink, but this went toward breast cancer and I'm, my grandma had breast cancer. So I am all for donating to that even though I hate the color. Um, so, that's that. Um, and then, notebooks. I have another one in my room, 
but I'm not going to get that right now. I only got four of these ones, but okay, I got the striped one because I thought it was pretty. Um, and then I got a purple one, just plain purple. I can put stickers on it to decorate it more. Um, I got this kind of decorative one for it. And then I got a green one because, you know, my favorite color is green and couldn't resist. So, there we go. That's that.